you know, they're not, they, they rely on people like us to sell their shit for them. You know what I mean? So that's a powerful thing. So Amazon, all the products you see on Amazon, it, it's most of it's not their shit. So they rely on, on e-commerce e specialists like us to uh, do their work for them. So uh, Amazon, I break down the Amazon order real quick. So, <laughs> all right, it's pretty cool stuff, but so they, they choose the product, whatever, they may Google it, whatever, but they go to the Amazon app, they choose the product uh, based on profile. So they have profiles, they can go shop um, product by the profile. Profile. So our profile could be CB, my CB child. I use the last one as an example. So we have my CBT shop. We have our uh, our sales license linked with Amazon. Um, so my CBT shop profile. They hit there. They check out. Um, it's two fold for here. So the order hits our car email account actually, and we manually email the invoice to the vendor. Um, so that's the first method. The second method is. Um, we can actually pre-buy the products, um, store them in the Amazon warehouse so that it's already there ready and the Amazon fills the order for us. Um, it's another thing, we can have custom logos on the box and all that stuff sent with our logo and all that stuff as well. But um, I'm getting into some other stuff, we'll talk about that later. But I just kind of want to briefly cover how that works. And also the Amazon, how they release the money, the money with the Amazon, they, they hold the, the money there in a, an account, kind of like the broker. So they hold the money for 14, 21 days, 14, 21 days. So this part, so I got a good cough there toward the end, but um, so what we left out was um, the Amazon order. Um, so 14, 21 days, they, they hold the money for 14, 21 days and then they release it. So the problem is, you know, we keep, we don't have access to those funds right away, you know, so we have to rely on our uh, bank account, our bank account, <laughs> to have money in it so that the order can get filled with the customer. But um, Amazon is a little tricky, so we could theoretically, you know, um, yeah, never mind about that. I don't, don't want to get in that. But 14, 21 days. Um, I want to cover the the broker. So the broker that we use on the on the website transaction is um, it's called Stripe. So the Stripe. For the website transaction, uh, we have the broker assistant between the website. Um, we have to have our uh, SSL certificate installed so that legally that customer has to make a, a secure transaction for us, that broker, to accept that payment. So legally, um, we have to have that certificate installed. So whenever you guys go to purchase a online order, and you guys, you guys see the little lock symbol um, in the upper right hand corner of the a computer whatever and it has SSL or HTTPS on that link so that when you see that it's indicating that um, you guys are uh, securely under a, a secure encryption algorithm that the, the broker your the certificate uses to secure the payment so you know we can't rip off the, the credit card you know people can't rip off the credit card or they have what they call a man in the middle attack whatever that's getting into some cyber security stuff but it's pretty much what it is cyber security so we'll lock down the website make sure that 